I said at the Catholic Book of Worship, which is a smaller book, number 531. 531, for the beauty of the earth. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the beauty of each hour, of the day and of the night, hill and vale and tree and flower, sun and moon and stars of light. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of ear and eye, for the heart and mind's delight, for the mystic harmony, linking sense to sound and sight. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this Feast of St. Paul of the Cross, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Gratian, Amara Yanagam, and a special intention for Morgan and Karina Nicholson. For the times we failed to recognize Jesus' sacrifice on the cross to redeem us from our sin, let us bow our heads and ask for God's mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the priest, St. Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that urged on more strongly by his example, we may each embrace our own cross with courage through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading, from, a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Just as sin came into the world through one man and death came through sin, so death spread to all because all have sinned. Sin was indeed in the world before the law, but sin is not reckoned when there is no law. Yet death exercised dominion from Adam to Moses even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who is a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died through the one man's trespass, much more surely have the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for the many. And the free gift is not like the effect of the one person's sin, for the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following, following many trespasses brings justification. If because of the trespass of one, death exercised dominion through that one, much more surely will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness exercise dominion in life through the one Jesus Christ. Therefore, just as the trespass of one led to condemnation for all, so the act of righteousness of one leads to justification and life for all. For just as by the disobedience of one person, the many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one person, 
the many will be made righteous. But law came in, with the result that the trespass multiplied. But where sin increased, grace abounded all the more, so that just as sin exercised dominion and death, so grace might also exercise dominion through justification, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, here I am. Here are my Lord, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. Here are my Lord, I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your saving help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. Here are my Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. You are my help and my deliverer. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Be watchful, pray constantly, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. In the Feast of St. Paul of the Cross, we see that this humble saint really focused on the suffering and death of Jesus for our redemption. We also hear this in the beautiful first reading that by Jesus' sacrifice frees all of us from our sin. We are redeemed by one person who is God and also fully human. He is our Messiah, our Savior, and our Lord. This eternal sacrifice is one that we should always be grateful for and realize our unworthiness, and yet Jesus freely gives of himself. And so St. Paul has been a positive role model for all of us to remind us of the focus that upon looking at the crucifix, we see the greatest act of love that the world will ever see. And so let us model our lives on the suffering of Jesus, recognizing that sin should never be our choice, that we should live our baptismal call and praise and worship of God and lead a life of holiness, opening our hearts to God's grace. St. Paul of the Cross, pray for us. Let us pray. As we seek to be faithful stewards of God's gifts, we offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the leaders of the church. May the Lord continue to bless them with vitality and health and growth and holiness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for national and local leaders. May Christ direct their hearts in serving the needs of the most vulnerable, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who live daily with the threat of violence. May God deliver them and bring them his peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph. May Jesus strengthen us as we seek to build God's kingdom here on earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Gratian, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that through the mercy of God, they may be welcomed into the communion of saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Loving God, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer Almighty God in commemoration of St. Paul of the Cross and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of St. Paul of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember your servant Gratian, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that all who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Paul of the Cross, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in St. Paul have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all people, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O holy mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild, Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For your church that evermore lifts its holy hands above, Offering up on every shore its pure sacrifice of love. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For yourself, best gift divine, to this world so freely given, word incarnate, God's design, peace on earth and joy in heaven. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. God bless you. Have a good day.